Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to use create table as a statement in MySQL or MariaDB. So think about a scenario where you have a table, maybe customer, and you would like to make a copy of this customer table. So you can use this create table as a statement. Also, let's say you have a select statements and then you would like to save them in a new table. You can use that as well. So here we have a select uh, data from a customer table and I would like to create a new table the, called the customer new and save this all the results in that table so I can do that so I will say create table and then I will provide the name of the table so let's say customer new as then this is a statement you are going to provide because we want to select all the records and all the columns from customer and save into the new customer new table so if I run this together it should just copy all the results uh, to the new table. This table was not existing before, so it will create a table and then insert the record in this uh, in the customer new table. Okay, so that's a very simple scenario where you want to copy all the records uh, or uh, um, all the records from existing table to in a new table okay you also have some more freedom here so let's say if you would like to select only few columns from a table you can do that in this case I selected first name last name from customer and I would like to save them as a, a new table called the custom okay so if I run this together then what happened it will create a new table called the CUST and that's what only will save whatever the outcome of our select queries that's what it will be saved okay so run this statement and you can see that uh, you have a first name and last name also you can create uh, some extra column let's say if you are really interested to uh, get first name and last name but also at the time of creating this table you would like to add an, an another column so in this case maybe I would like to add an ID column to the customer one table okay so I'm saying create table customer one and then uh, ID that's the um, column that I will be adding and then on top of that these two columns I would like to add uh, from the customer so for these two columns there would be data coming through but uh, for ID as uh, we are there is no data so it will be just null but ID column will be created uh, with it uh, okay so if we select uh, start from customer one uh, you can see that we have ID added uh, and uh, we have first name and last name as there was no value for ID it was just blank so null values are there okay now if uh, you want to go further and uh, generate some column on the fly let's say now that will uh, uh, kind of create a date time for you uh, current date time and uh, if we run this query you can have this uh, so you can see that uh, I have three columns like one is first name last name that's existing column in the table but this is a on the fly table I just created with the function so I can do that as well so create table plus two as and then run your select query so you have a, a lot of possibilities whatever you have in the select that's what uh, going to be the definition of your table also in this case, uh, I'm creating a table, cus3, and I said created, uh, create date as a date time. So I can define the data type uh, of a column. And uh, same thing, uh, I, uh, let's say here, um, then I what I did, uh, I said select now as a creator date. Same way, if I would like to uh, define the data type for my first name. So first name, let's say Varchar 10 or 20. Okay. Last name, Varchar let me just go on the next line okay watch our uh, 20 okay so now what I did I defined the data type for these columns so whatever the results of these columns they will save in this table but I'm saying I'm telling you what will be the data type of these columns so I can tell it and then uh, you use uh, the select statement to select the data and that will insert into it if you will check the data type of customer table let's say if I will go and say describe customer the data type of first name and last name is worker 50 and 30 I believe so you can see that the first name is the worker 50 and the last name is worker 30 but here we are saying worker 20 and worker 20 so just make sure I mean you don't have a, a 
uh, first name or last name they are lengthy they would not fit into 20 then you will have error but uh, uh, you can ch uh, change or you can provide the data type uh, and uh, whatever the results that comes they should fit in uh, if you you can do some studies before even do it uh, let's take max uh, of first name or max of uh, uh, maximum characters of last name then you would know that how many how many characters uh, uh, max uh, uh, exist in this uh, column okay so now what we did uh, we uh, we created a table and we provided a data type of these columns and then use those columns here so now if I run this statement the table is created now we select the data from uh, cus3 and you can see that um, so create date uh, create date first name last name and if I will say describe customer 3 then I will see the definition of uh, customer 3 table and you can see that uh, we have first name worker 20 and last name worker 20 so you can uh, um, we learned that we can define the data type here uh, in the create table as definition and then we can select the record whatever we need to and then insert also you can use the where clause if you would like to say where um, let's see what we have here we have a lot of uh, we don't have a whole lot of records here in the customer table but uh, let's say we, we have uh, we just want to put uh, customer where first name is equal to Amir. Okay, so you can do that. You can also use group by. You can use whatever you want to use. Uh, as long as you have a select statement that returns you the results, then those results can be inserted into a new table by using a create table and just provide the table name. Thanks very much for watching, and I, I hope this video will help.